Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Angelina. Welcome back to Simply Angeline, the channel dedicated to storytelling a diverse children's stories so kids can feel seen and inspired. Now, did you know September is Deaf Awareness Month? And this month is to bring awareness and visibility of communication needs and also the unique identity of deaf and hard of hearing people. And also, did you know there's more than 1.5 billion people affected by hearing loss in at least one year? That's, that's unbelievable. And for this story this week, I thought we should read, My Deaf Friend Can Do Anything You Can Do, and it's by Tanisha Osby. So I thought I'd bring a special guest to read it with me. Now, if you remember, I've read with her before. Her name is Tanisha from Butterfly Hands, and she is a sign language instructor and a sign language interpreter. Tanisha's going to sign the story as I read the story aloud with my voice. So let's get started. My deaf friend can do anything you can do. My deaf friend can do anything you can do by Tanisha Osby. Serenity and Rochelle have been friends since they were tiny babies. Rochelle is deaf. Deaf means that one isn't able to hear. Serenity is hearing. Rochelle has hearing parents and Serenity has a deaf mother and a hearing father. Once Rochelle's parents discovered that Rochelle was deaf, they took it upon themselves to learn sign language. Then they taught and teach Rochelle so that they could communicate with each other. Serenity's parents began to teach her sign language at a young age so that she can communicate with her mother. They all lived in Baltimore, Maryland, in the same neighborhood together. Rochelle and Serenity would sometimes have playdates and watch their favorite cartoon together. Rochelle and Serenity would call each other to catch up whenever there was a rainy day and they couldn't play outside. They would communicate by phone through a service called VRS, a video relay service, or simply by text. They both enjoyed playing basketball. One day they were playing outside and noticed a new family who had just moved into the neighborhood and saw children the same age as them. They were super excited. Later that day, the new children came out to play. They noticed Rochelle and Serenity signing to each other. They yelled, hey, what are you all doing? Rochelle noticed that Serenity stopped signing. Serenity exclaimed, hey, we're doing sign language. Rochelle curiously asked, what did they say? Serenity interpreted to her what was being said. The new kid said, oh, okay, I guess, but it looks kind of weird. Why don't you talk normal? Serenity always made sure she signs what's being said so that Rochelle doesn't feel left out of the conversation. Serenity explained to them that Rochelle is deaf and sign language is their main way to communicate with each other. The new kids remarked, well, she won't be able to play with us if she can't hear 
what we are saying. Rochelle frowned. She did not like that people thought that because she was deaf, that she is not able to do the same thing hearing people can do. Serenity yelled, yes, she can. She can do everything we can do. The new neighbors just didn't want to believe it. They yelled, we will see. How about we play tag? Serenity signed to her that they're going to play the game tag with a smirk as if they already played this before. They enjoyed a successful game of tag. The kids were amazed and suggested, okay, let's play another game, hide and go seek. They played hide and go seek and had tons of fun. After the game was over, Rochelle signed to Serenity and told her she had fun playing the games, but did not appreciate them making fun of her and assuming she doesn't know how to do anything. Serenity signed to her and admitted that she understands. Serenity suggests that they didn't have to play with them anymore if Rochelle was uncomfortable. One weekend, Serenity's parents had a holiday cookout and invited Rochelle and her family. There was lots of food and loud music playing. The new kids in the neighborhood walked by and noticed everyone talking to each other using sign language. One of the children by the name of Jeremiah recognized Rochelle dancing to the music. He asked Serenity, how does she know how to dance so well if she cannot hear the music? Serenity explained, she can feel the vibrations and feel the beat to the music. Jeremiah yelled, that is amazing. She really can do anything. He displayed a surprised look on his face. He confessed, I'm really sorry for making fun of her being deaf and thinking she wasn't able to do anything. Do you mind teaching me sign language? Serenity encouraged. I think you should apologize on your own. Then I'll teach you how to say I'm sorry and show you teach me sign language so that you can talk to her on your own. She's happy and willing to demonstrate. From that day on, Jeremiah would come out and play with Serenity and Rochelle. He was even able to sign small conversations with them after a while. After the new kids started noticing Jeremiah learning sign language, they continued to ask how to say different things in sign language. After a while, they all were able to sign to each other using sign language. The new kids learned that deaf people can do anything they also realized that sign language is a great language to learn. They all became great friends. The end. So, what did you think of the story? I thought it was amazing too. I think it's very important to understand that deaf people and hard of hearing people can do anything we can do. They just do it a different way. And we should always respect people, no matter what they look like, no matter where they come from, if they have a disability or if they don't have a disability, always respect people and always treat them with dignity and just be nice because you want people to be nice to you and respect you. So you should not disrespect anybody else, okay? Also, learn sign language. I'm trying to learn sign language myself. And I think it's important that you should too. So let's do it together. Also, let's give a big hand clap and say thank you to Tanisha from Butterfly Hands for partnering with me for this story. She is amazing. And if you want to learn more about her, all her information is going to be down below. If you do want to purchase My Deaf Friend Can Do Anything You Can Do by Tanisha Osby, the link is in the description below. And also, I have a Google Doc of every book I've ever read on Simply Angeline, and it has the links to purchase. So please go take a look at that. Now, everybody, I will see you next time. And 
Deaf Awareness Month. Get more information, research, Google. See what you can do to be a part of the solution. All right, Simply Angeline, we'll see you later. Bye.